here in this video, I'm going to go through the correct rider wear turnout for taking your Welsh Section D, like local showing and affiliated ridden showing. So I'm going to work from the top down. So on your head, you want to wear a riding hat. Females should wear any colour but black. Black is kept for men. So women can wear anything like navy blue, green, grey, brown. Should have a flesh coloured strap. But yes, any colour but black. And then working down, your hair must be tied up neatly and use a hairnet. I have, although I have long hair, I, my hair's not very thick. So I use a donut or something to, that I wrap my hair around to make it look like a bun and it just looks a bit fuller. So, and then you want a hairnet, the same color as your hair. And then shirt and tie can be any color of your choice. White, yellow, blue shirts and then tie of an, any color to, to accentuate your jacket. So I always opt for usually a blue shirt with a pink tie because I have blue running through my show jacket. So I like that color match. And then again, your show jacket should be any color tweed. Welsh Section D should be ridden with you wearing tweed. Get various green tweeds, brown tweeds, everything. So whatever tweed you fancy, which you like the color of. And then you should have a tie pin. So it goes through the buttonhole of your shirt, over your tie, through the, other, the next buttonhole. Just so it really makes your collar look stiffer and neater. Your tie should be, as I say, any colour, but ideally the Welsh Cobs, you should have the Welsh Pony and Cob tie. This can be got from their website fairly cheaply and they come in various colours. So, and then down to your jobpers, they should be yellow, cream or beige not white, white is kept for show jumping. And then your boots, traditionally Welsh's should be flat top with a garter strap, but they are increasingly hard to find. And I've got very long skinny legs, so I can't find any that fit me neatly. So I do go for the taller dressage cut boots. And to be fair, at a ridden show, no judge has ever commented on my boots. I try to get them as plain as you can. And then you always want gloves that match your pony. And then your number. I have pins with clips on that I can safety pin to the back of my jacket. So it makes it look neat for my number. But then doing it that way, I haven't got any string for my rosette to hang on. So I also do have clips that come with a bit of string that wraps around me. So my number sits neatly, but then I've got somewhere to put a rosette on. And with my number, they are square. So I always trim the edges so it's like an oval shape. So it just looks a bit neater. It tidies up the whole outfit, the whole look. And then you always have to ride with the whip. Whether you wear, use it or not is regardless. You should ride with a whip. Local level, you can just get away with just a cheap brown whip or going further up the levels, you do want a smarter looking whip. But it just sets off the whole picture of your outfit but that's the end of this video if you like what you see please like and subscribe if there's any more videos you'd like me to make or any questions you have then just comment down below and i'll try and answer them for you thank you